Is it time to buy or sell Palantir stock? In this video, we will take an in-depth look at Palantir. Our initial report was published on Thursday, the 25th of July, 2024, and we are here to provide you with an even more comprehensive analysis. Remember to subscribe, hit the like button, and turn on the notification bell to stay updated on our latest analyses. You won't want to miss any critical updates that could affect your investments. Enhance your trading decisions by trying our newly launched AI stock analysis tool, powered by GPT-4, at stockinvest.us. Access the power of AI and receive free price predictions and in-depth analysis for any one of 25,000 companies worldwide today. Please keep in mind that this video is intended for informational purposes only and should not be regarded as financial advice. Since the 6th of June, 2024, our system has identified Palantir as a buy candidate, assigning it a score of 2.81. Now, let's examine the stock's performance during this time frame. Those who adhered to our analysis have experienced an impressive gain of approximately 11.94% since we initially categorized Palantir as a buy candidate 34 days ago. This equates to an average return of about 0.35% per day since it was designated as a buy candidate. The stock is currently positioned within a robust and upward trend in the short term, indicating further growth ahead. The existing three-month trend suggests a potential change of approximately 36% over the coming three months, with expected returns ranging from about 32% to nearly 49%. Looking at the 12-month trend, it indicates a possible change of around 66% over the next year, with potential returns between approximately 34% and nearly 80%. This corresponds to a price range between $35.80 and $47.87 after a year. Our latest daily update for Palantir includes the headline, Green day on Thursday for Palantir. The Palantir stock price gained 113 thousandths of a percent on the last trading day, which was Thursday, the 25th of July, 2024, rising from $26.60 to $26.63. During the last trading day, the stock fluctuated 7.35%, with a day low at $25.42 and a day high of $27.29. The price has risen in five of the last 10 days, but it is still down by 3.65% for this period. Volume fell on the last day by 1 million shares, totaling 45 million shares bought and sold for approximately $1.20 billion. It is important to consider that falling volume on higher prices can indicate divergence and may serve as an early warning about potential changes in the upcoming days. Over the past 52 weeks, the highest stock price was $29.83, while the lowest was $13.68. Currently, the price is 10.73%, or $3.20, below the 52-week high and 40.82%, or $18.37, below the all-time high reached on January 27, 2021, when the price peaked at $45. Analyst Ratings On Thursday, the 18th of July, 2024, it was reported that Wedbush assigned PLTR an outperform rating with a hold action. On Tuesday, the 16th of July, 2024, Wedbush also assigned PLTR a buy rating with a hold action. On the same day, RBC Capital assigned PLTR an underperform rating with a hold action. On Monday, the 8th of July, 2024, Citigroup assigned PLTR a neutral rating with a hold action. On Friday, the 21st of June, 2024, Monus assigned PLTR a sell rating with a downgrade action. Analysts have assigned Palantir stock a general buy rating. They consider the price to earnings ratio to be a strong buy and the price-to-book ratio also as strong buy. Regarding return on investment, analysts have given the stock a buy rating. The following signals have been identified for Palantir. 
a cell signal was issued from a pivot top point on Tuesday, the 23rd of July, 2024, and so far it has fallen by 7.57%. Further declines are indicated until a new bottom pivot is established. Additionally, there is currently a sell signal from the three-month moving average convergence divergence, or MACD. Some positive signals have also emerged, which may influence short-term developments. The Palantir stock holds a sell signal from the short-term moving average. However, there is a buy signal from the long-term average. Since the short-term average is above the long-term average, there is an overall buy signal for the stock, suggesting a positive forecast. Should the stock experience further gains, it will encounter resistance from the short-term moving average at approximately $27.99. Conversely, if the stock declines, it will find support from the long-term average at approximately $25.96. A breakout above the short-term average will trigger a buy signal, while a breakdown below the long-term average will indicate a sell signal. Volume decreased during the last trading day despite rising prices, resulting in a divergence between volume and price, which may serve as an early warning. The stock should be monitored closely. Here are some additional signals that may be of interest. Moving average convergence divergence indicates a sell signal. Pivots show a sell signal from three days ago. Bollinger suggests a buy signal from 14 days ago. The short-term moving average presents a sell signal from five days ago. The long-term moving average indicates a buy signal from 37 days ago. The relationship between the short and long moving averages shows a buy signal from 35 days ago. When we examine the 12-month chart, we observe the short moving average gives a sell signal from three days ago. The long-term moving average shows a buy signal from 37 days ago. The relationship between the short and long moving averages indicates a buy signal from 25 days ago. For more signals, please visit our page at stockinvest.us. Let's discuss the support, risk, and stop loss levels for Palantir. On the downside, the stock finds support just below today's price from accumulated volume at $25.21 and $23.84. There is inherent risk when a stock is testing a support level, as breaking through this level could lead to a decline toward the next support level. In the case of Palantir, support is positioned just below today's price at $25.21. Should this level be breached, the next support from accumulated volume will be observed at $23.84 and $21.40. This stock exhibits average daily movements, and with sufficient trading volume, the risk is deemed to be medium. Over the past day, the stock fluctuated by $1.87 between its high and low, amounting to 7.35%. Throughout the last week, the stock has demonstrated an average daily volatility of 5.53%. Before we dive into the potential trading levels for Palantir, let's quickly cover some essential fundamental data. First, the price to earnings ratio, or PE ratio. This crucial ratio measures a company's current share price relative to its earnings per share. This extremely high PE ratio suggests that the stock could be overvalued. However, it is not uncommon for technology companies or those with significant market potential to have such high ratios. In other news, the next earnings report for the second quarter of 2024 is expected on the 5th of August, 2024. Analysts' consensus estimates are at $0.08. Cents. Keep an eye on these figures as they can greatly impact stock prices. Now let's discuss some potential day trading levels for Palantir. In the event of an upward trend, the first resistance level for Palantir is at $27.64. If you do not own any shares, you may want to wait for this level to be surpassed before entering a position. For those who already hold the stock, this could be a level to consider for swing trading. On the downside, Palantir encounters its first support level at $25.21. If this support level holds, it could serve as a favorable entry point, anticipating a rebound.
The combined average rating for Palantir from various analyst sources is buy. Now let's examine some recent insider trades. The five most recent insider transactions involved Glazer David A., who bought and sold 270,000 shares or options in the company. Analyzing the 100 most recent insider trades, we find that the insider power is negative, with a ratio of negative 68.347. In total, insiders acquired 4,579,790 shares and divested 25,804,633 shares in the last 100 trades. Our recommended stop loss is set at $25.14, reflecting a decrease of 5.58%. This stock experiences moderate daily fluctuations, indicating a medium level of risk. There is a sell signal stemming from a pivot top identified 51 days ago. Is Palantir stock a good buy? Currently, several signals and indicators are pointing towards negative trends, which we believe will impact the stock's performance over the coming days and possibly weeks. However, we see today's price level as a potential buying opportunity, with expectations that the price will increase during or by the end of this three-month period. After reviewing the volatility and price movements from the last trading day, our analysis indicates that the current price appears to be overvalued. Looking ahead to trading on Friday, the 26th of July, we anticipate Palantir will open lower, approximately 184 thousandths of a dollar down, starting at a price of $26.45. We remind you that trading involves a significant risk of losing money, and it is advisable to consult with a financial advisor prior to buying or selling any securities. Investment decisions should not be based solely on the information provided by StockInvest.us. By utilizing this information, you acknowledge and accept responsibility for your own investment choices. Here is our current perspective on the stock. Do you agree or disagree? Please share your thoughts in the comments. What is your target for this stock? Remember to like and subscribe. We wish you successful trading and hope you have a wonderful day from all of us at Stock Invest.